Hello and welcome to another video. This video is going to be a little bit different than usually because in this video I will tell you something about myself. Today is special day because exactly one year ago I had my knee surgery. So in this video I'm going to tell you something about my knee because I think the story is quite interesting. So we have to go back to 2015 when I was in really good shape. I was really fast. I was I have good condition and this was my, I think, the best fighting time. So I took a part in a local friendly tournament where uh, I decided to join to every competition, karate, judo and taekwondo. On this time I have trained all of them, so I thought this going to be fun to take a part with all of them. And actually this was quite funny because I just running from one match to another match and changing the clothes because I have to have a judo gi, karate gi or dobok and I just running from one match to another. It was actually quite a tough day. <laughs> but yes, this was around six different competition. Was karate was iri kumite, shiai kumite and kata. Uh, judo was just fighting and taekwondo was uh, pumse and fighting and the funny part is that I took a part with all of them and I became champion in two of them I became champion in irikumite and pumse uh, with my my grade I think pumse yeah pumse with my grade on this time I was uh, blue belt yeah and in Iri Kumite I just was white belt in karate because I don't train karate actually I just start now but never mind so after this tournament I decided to sign up open Danish championship in judo this was like around one week after and on this tournament I have only two fights and in my second fight I break my uh, ACL Actually, on this time I didn't know that I break this ACL. I thought that I I just dislocate my knee because uh, when I fighting, I just felt something like it was a really strange feeling that my knee can just go to the side and come back. This was what I felt, but it was completely different. <laughs> but I felt like this, and actually it was sad for me because I have to lose the fight which I winning because. I could not finish the fight and I have uh, more points than my opponent but yeah this is how it is and the final part is that when I first time I felt this feeling that something is wrong with my knee I just jump around and try that okay I can stay so nothing no, nothing happened but it wasn't like this and I thought like okay so when I can stay and I see I can win this fight so okay nothing happened I wanna fight and when the judges says, okay, start. So I grabbed my opponent and I stepped weird and I felt like, okay, something is wrong because I get the same feeling again in my knee. So I, I already knew that something is wrong. So I just stopped the fight and this was it. After tournament, I go with my friend to a hospital to check my knee and they could not say anything about my knee because my legs become swollen and they could not see anything but they see that I can move my leg so they said that I didn't broke my in my leg so this is what they said to me they sent me back to home and said if something is going to be worse you have to come back for checking yeah I go home it was painful a little bit and maybe not painful but just strange after a few months I decided to come back to training and again was similar feeling I get the same similar feeling in my knee when I took a part with I took a part in taekwondo uh, training and on this day when I started exactly day when they train fly kicks it was a lot of jumping so the trainer they know that I can jump quite high so when it was my turn to jump and make a speed kick uh, and when I jump when I just run to the jumping and I wanna jump I I just fall down because my leg just bent it so I even don't jump up I just start running try to jump 
I just fall down because my knee just bent to the side and and already I know that again the same story so I go again to hospital this time different one and was well, similar story they said yeah probably you dislocate your knee we can take some pictures of your knee and stuff and they do they take a picture but on the picture you could not see anything because this random picture and just showing you your bones but with my bones was everything fine so they could not see anything. I think this was a problem because I I am Polish and I'm not Danish and this was in Denmark so why they should use money for MR scanning for some guy doesn't matter but probably my ACL was like a little bit broken after this time it was more broken and yeah after a few months I decided to, to join to the same championship this was this the same one what I I thought like yeah I, I can join so I can protect my title from the last year so I took a part with Iri Kumite, Pumsei actually I took a part again with all of, of this this uh, competition all of this competition but actually I could not take a part with all because in Pumsei I get second second place so I could not protect my uh, my title from the last year, but in Irkumite I failed in the first fight because I fighting with much taller and much heavier opponent than me, and I decided to sweep him because he kicked me in the the ribs. I grabbed his leg and I thought, okay, I can I can I can throw him, and I try and do this, but I don't know how it's happened, but we fall down on my leg. And this was actually the most painful one from this whole story what I'm talking about. And I think when before I was like a little bit broken, a little bit broken. I think on this time I completely broke the ACL. Yeah, never mind. After this I go again to hospital and they said again the same story that I dislocated my knee. Bullshit. And they, I, I said to them maybe they should make MR scanning for me because actually with MR scanning they can see what's happened inside my knee but no they they I think they just don't want to use money for me so they said no we first want to send you to a physiotherapist and for some training and if this doesn't work we're going to make MR scanning for you blah, blah. so they sent me to a physiotherapist and stuff but uh, yeah I train around a few months in this place and later, and later I have to go to Poland so I were in Poland for I think half year yeah one time I decided to go with my friend to trampoline park and this was my first time trampoline park and everything was fine with my leg I thought that I finished this physiotherapy training I felt better with my knee yeah, it doesn't matter. And I go to this funeral point park, we have fun for like two hours. It was, it was crazy and cool and stuff. And I thought, like, yeah, I can just make a backflip on, on a trampoline. And I did that. This was the last jump, actually. The last jump, I said, like, okay, I want to just jump one time more for, before we go. And I did that. And, and again, my uh, leg get the same feeling like before. And I already know it, what happened, so I just said to my friend, because this was in another city than, than my city where I live, so I said, okay, I have to go because after half hour my leg go into swallow and I cannot walk and move and stuff, so it's better when I go to my car and I back to my city and it was like around 40 minutes away on the highway, so I said, yeah, I go home now. <laughs> and I know that soon I have to go back to Denmark to my work so I decided to do everything by myself so next day after this jump I go to orthopedics clinic they check my knee and they said they, they, they cannot know anything because my leg is already swollen and they don't see anything so they have to wait but they sent me to to MR scanning and again I have to pay from my own packet so 
this was quite expensive for me but I know that when I go there and I get this paper and and they write everything what is wrong and they see that my AC here is broken and I go to Denmark and I go with this paper with my hand and I show them in hospital that this is wrong with my knee and now you know what is wrong so you don't have to use money for my MR scanning and you have to just give me an operation and try to fix that because this was already two years when I visiting uh, this hospitals, different hospitals in Denmark and they all the time send me to somebody else like yeah this is this and go here this is this to go here it doesn't matter but the yeah, first doctor asked me if I want to have a operation and I say yeah it's gonna be better than now he said yes so say so I want to have an operation and he explained me how this operation going to look and this was quite crazy story how and what they going to do when I, I was actually a bit afraid about that because this sounds so weird like okay they're going to drill my knee they're going to take some part of my muscles and build my new ACL and yeah but this going this this is how they do and how it's going to to work and yeah what not and he asked me when when I want to have uh, this operation because I can have it next week I say, uh, but I was invited to my friend's wedding in Poland so I decided like okay so when I come back from Poland I want to have uh, this operation and I go to Poland with my girlfriend and we go to ski trip so I can have some fun before uh, before the operation because I know that after operation I'm going to uh, have uh, some break because I cannot do anything because of this operation. Day after I have an operation and this was exactly one year ago. So actually this was quite funny because they said yeah you have to be here at uh, seven o'clock. I don't remember what time it was was but it was seven o'clock and I go go there. They, they make me this operation and already at 12 o'clock they send me back to, to home. You know, the doctor said that I can come back to work after three months if this is like office work and after six months if this is physical work. And my work is physical but I've come back to my work one and a half months after because I felt that yeah I'm ready because I stopped working on the crutches and I was slow and stuff but Laying on the couch was killing me. It's so boring. <laughs> How you can do that? So I decided to just go out and home because I could not stay longer. Yeah, but now it's one year after and what? It's much better. I decided to slowly come back to my fighting shape. So I signed up to the Goju Karate Club. I took a part in Karate Goju Championship and I get second place in Irikumite and second place in Kata in my grade so I think it's pretty good and doesn't matter but so how you can see that my knee become better and better so maybe soon I can do some more crazy stuff than now actually this is why I, I started to make this channel because I could not fighting so I decided to make something about the fighting but without fighting. So I decided to make this channel for for sharing my hobby with you and what I can say more? I don't know. Thank you for listening if you are still here and thank you for watching and see you next time.